Hello friends, welcome back to Cynthia's channel. Today we're going to be talking about fat in the media. Yes, what do I mean by fat in the media? Well, you're going to find out in a moment. But before you find out, have you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Is here or here? I'm not sure where, but hit it. Hit it. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're talking about fat in the media. Whew. So, um, because fatness and fat bodies and big bodies are usually underrepresented in the media we tend to in the fat positive community you tend to see one person who's like oh i love my body and you just like jump on it and you're like i'm standing for this person because they love their fat bodies or they love their big bodies or they love their plus size bodies and I used to do that, but nowadays I'm more weary of people of jumping on celebrity bandwagons because we've seen a lot of celebrities, I shall not be naming names today, who are maybe fat positive but not really intersectional. So they're not they're not um speaking out for the LGBTQIA plus community. They're not speaking up for black people. They're not speaking up for other minority groups. They're not speaking out for anyone but themselves. And it seems like they're using fat acceptance and body acceptance as a PR stunt. Now, let's get to fat as a PR stunt. So we're seeing a lot of runway shows where they're like, oh, we're body diverse. And a lot of people are like, yeah, fat positivity, go. But I keep seeing the same types of bodies when they talk about fat positivity. It's usually either medium-sized chest or smaller, whatever size chest is usually fine. And as long as the waist is even tinier and the stomach looks kind of flat, because you know, you can't be fat and have flaps. That's just wrong. And then the thighs are like kind of toned cellulite, but not too much cellulite. So like the cellulite, you can be like, oh, these are my tiger stripes. And like, oh, I'm so sexy. And it's like you're allowed to be fat as long as you're sexy and you fit the Venus mold of fatness. And I find that problematic because bodies come in all different forms. And if we're so happy about being represented in the media, too happy that we don't even notice and realize that, oh, they're just force feeding us another standard of beauty. So there's the skinny standard and the normal size standard and then for fat people it's the venus standard and that's what we keep seeing and that's what we're being fed and that's what every time someone reposts about like curvy women because that's what we're called now curvy curvy women it's the same person and I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of seeing that. So please go out there, look for someone of a completely different size, a completely different shape, and just celebrate them. Or better still, you know what would be great? Every single woman celebrating her body, however it looks. That'd be so great. And that way we can see more people that can be our inspirations because like I can't be me Cynthia and then my only fat positive inspiration is Ashley Graham my body doesn't look like Ashley Graham I need someone who looks like me I need someone who has folds in their back because I have folds in my back bruh I have folds in my back I need someone who has like love handles you can grab and like really like you can lift me up with their love handles. I need someone who's short. I need someone whose arm does this. Like, I need all of that. And I'm not seeing a lot of me represented in the media. Let's even just cancel out the fact that I'm a black plus size woman. 
because that's another problem. But we'll talk about that in another segment. So, please let me know in the comments down below do you have a fat positive or a body positive role model or inspiration who does not fit the classic mold of beauty classic standard of beauty and if you do what are their names what are their handles i need information share with me i need more more diverse representation of fat positivity i want to see men too I don't want to see only women link down below so if you know some men who are fat positive and body positive link them down below I'm going to also provide some links to some of the people that I think are body positive and intersectional and representative and advocates for so many different voices while I'm here check out Tess Holiday she's awesome but I won't like over endorse her because we know people tend to become problematic but she really does speak out for a lot of people so that's all i wanted to talk about fat positive positivity body positivity in the media do you think it's representing you enough or not let me know what you think in the comments section down below please subscribe share like tell your mother tell your father i feel like the more we speak about these issues the more talks and conversations keep happening the better the world will be in being inclusive and that is my goal in life is to foster and a more inclusive world and platform so thank you for watching have a great Great, 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 day, 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 day.